Today's high watt soundbite is all about studio ergonomics and updates for audio geeks. Well, am I ever excited about today's session? Last weekend, I officially retired my old DAW. So my 2013 iMac, I put it out to pasture and I made space for my brand new rig. Now, I'm sure some of you can relate to this, but when I initially got involved in this business, it was really from a technical point of view. You know, I was a recording engineer years before I got into production and composition. So I am a complete tech geek at heart. There's no question that I'm an engineer through and through. And so, you know, tearing apart equipment and putting it back together, it's one of my favorite pastimes in the studio. Constantly kind of rebuilding things and working on studio ergonomics, so to speak. Well, last Friday was no exception. When I made the decision to finally get into this, it didn't take me more than two hours to destroy this room. It absolutely looked like a cyclone went through it. And it was just sort of amazing. I was laughing at myself, realizing, you know, it takes days to put these systems together and you literally can just tear it all apart in a couple hours. Well, I ran a time lapse as I put it all back together and it's pretty hilarious. So I'm just gonna run that as I share a few ideas about how killer this new setup is. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a session on how important it is to me as a producer to retire these DAWs intact and before they die, right? It's very, very important for me as a producer to retire these systems where they're fully functional and completely intact, meaning that they can instantly open any session that they've built over the last seven years in this case. Well, in my initial plan, I wanted to have both iMacs on my desktop permanently and have my kind of second monitor live above that on an arm. Well, I went through the trouble of setting all that up and it didn't take more than 10 seconds for me to realize that the addition of that third monitor up here absolutely screwed up my sweet spot and my mix position. I have a beautiful image across this setup and when I added that third monitor, it screwed it right up. So I very quickly realized that wasn't gonna work and made the decision to just get rid of that old system off the desktop. So I struck that 2013 system off the desktop and I set it on the floor and I made space for my second monitor to just live in a nice even plane, right? keeping that awesome sound that I have in this sweet spot. Well, that's great, but how am I gonna access that old 2013? I really don't have the real estate in this room to have another whole DAW set up somewhere. So I started thinking about putting it on a little kind of desk that could roll around, and then I'm thinking about all the connections it has to the hardware and everything else. You know, I ended up getting so lucky. I ended up just dropping that old system down to the floor, and right in front of my console, there's a place that I just kind of slid the whole thing right under the desk. So my old 2013 iMac is literally sitting on the floor and anytime I need access to it, all I have to do is simply get up, fire the thing up and then come back and screen share it from my current system. Well, I've been working on it this week and it is absolutely awesome because that old system has essentially disappeared from my room, but I have immediate access to it and it's all completely connected locally still, right? It's got its interface connected on my patch bay. It's got all of its eye locks in place and everything. In fact, I'm gonna take a second right now and we're gonna fire it up. Let's do this. So I'm getting up. All I gotta do is reach down to the power button and fire it up. There it is. Yeah, I actually have to get up out of my chair to go use that Mac, it's a good thing. So if I click on my network here, I'll see my uh, iMac, my old one. I can hit screen sharing. It's gonna let me come right in and go in as my registered user. And then, boom. And we're in. Okay, well there it is. So yeah, this is certainly not new technology. I mean, screen sharing has been around on Mac OS for a long time, but this works very, very well. You know, this screen feels like it's directly connected to the system. There's no lag whatsoever. So, you know, this is my old system. I can do whatever I need to do on this system. And immediately I can just go up and exit full screen, hide screen sharing, and I'm looking at my regular Mac, right? So, so cool. Well, I've got to share a little bit of a misstep and a bit of an oversight on my part when I initially started to go into my kind of transition into a new system. I realized very quickly that 
in transitioning to the brand new iMac and, and the latest operating system, I'm gonna have to update the firmware of the hardware that I've got connected to it. The fact that Universal Audio supplies us with a firmware update so we can continue to use their hardware is awesome. There are other companies out there that literally just drop support and literally will not even have a piece of hardware work with a new computer. So I am not complaining for one second. It's just that it really threw a bit of a horseshoe in my plan because I like to retire my systems intact. Well, what does that mean? It means that I'm gonna have to retire my system with the hardware intact and all the plugins that are authorized to that hardware. There is a way for me to switch back and forth, but not without reloading different firmware on that hardware, right? There's no way I wanna do that every single time I wanna access something. Well, fortunately for me, my band has an Apollo 16 that we hadn't used in a couple of years since our last tour. Well, I snatched up that Apollo 16 and it's now the interface for my old system. And I'm moving forward with a firmware update on my main system with the, with the satellite. So I just got really lucky in the end with that extra interface. This was absolutely stumping me initially. It's like, how am I going to move forward? How am I going to be able to access that universal audio hardware with both computers? Yeah, just not realistically going to happen. So there's no fault to universal audio. I love that company and I love the fact that they've made firmware updates. They even make the old firmware available if you do have to go back and kind of downgrade your firmware. You know, what a great company that makes it really easy to do all that once you're signed in with your account, right? So as an engineer and a total audio geek, this is the stuff I absolutely love getting up to. You know, dialing in systems and having to problem solve, come up with new solutions and, and really just always working on your ergonomics in your studio, creating a production space that's all your own. I'm just really excited. And I hope this inspires you to maybe have a look at your own setup and Maybe there's a piece of technology or something right there at your fingertips that you could take advantage of that will get you like one degree more efficiency or one degree more awesomeness in your killer setup.